a woman getting child support to help take care of her children is great but honestly some helpers take total disadvantage of it and they abuse it I was talking to this guy this white guy and he was telling me how he's working two jobs to pay child support but yet and still the girl keeps his son away from him you see what I'm saying why that's evil that is selfish and very inconsiderate for any female to do that especially if the man is not a criminal if the man has not abused his child in any way shape or form it is very inconsiderate for a female to do that to him on the other hand if the man hasn't been someone good he has abused you and abused the child i can understand if the system has cracked down so hard to the point where you have no choice but to kick uh, you know keep him out of the child's life or where are you in your own you know sound mind deem it necessary to keep the child away from him so the child doesn't get hurt but in other cases females do these things when they don't even have to they keep fathers out of the child's life when they don't even have to when the guy don't even deserve none of that how the heck you have a man on child support he's paying on time whether he's late or not hello you still have to take care of your child two people made that child okay how the heck you have him on child support? He's a good man. He's thinking oh, he's doing his duty because some some dudes you as soon as you put them on child support, they're not they're not going to work any job where the system's going to be able to track their income and give you the money you need. Though there's going to be backup, but they will do it on purpose. Because of what some females do. Because I was looking at that dude talking and he was emotional. These are the things that make some of them find some other way to make an ink, uh, make their income without having to go through all that. Just pay out, pay out, pay out, and then get tortured by that female. Do you guys ever think about the child when you're doing these things and you don't, and, 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 and it's not even necessary? Being that the dad is such a, a, a good person. If the relationship doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you don't just torture the child. You are also torturing the child if you keep the child away from the father. I think the system really need to crack down on some of these helpers who do these things. Okay? Because that is very, very selfish and evil. You can't be getting child support. He's a good man. He has no rap sheet in the system. He can't be doing what he's supposed to do. And then you isolate the child away from him. The system needs to crack down on some of y'all. And it either cut, cut y'all loose out of getting child support. Or crack down on y'all. So y'all can do what y'all need to do. Let that man see his child as well. Some of y'all take this custody thing way too personal. Way too personal. As if you, 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 the man must pay you and suffer in order to see his own seed. You think it's about your emotions? You think it's about how you feel and think? That innocent child, and that innocent child shouldn't have to suffer because of how you feel and think about that man. It has nothing to do with that child, okay? The child overall well-being involves both parents not just you and your selfish angry evil self i don't get it i felt really bad for that guy okay i was i was married before got 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 a divorce that man i had two kids by him he's not on child support okay the relationship i got in after that i had my third child and he's not on child support because when I need something and I call them, they do help. 
it's not about the money okay it's not about money it's about the child at the end of the day i make sure they're they stay in contact with their kids the kids visit them they visit the kids it's about the kids okay besides if that if if a man cannot afford it let, let's say the man you know passes away that let's say he died okay of some natural causes or something aren't you still going to be responsible for that child in every in for every aspect of that child's life is going to fall on you you will be responsible for everything no matter how much money social security get it's still not going to be you 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 have to you have to take care of your child whether or not you're getting money from the dad some of you get the money all you do is groom yourself and that child doesn't even sleep on the bed probably sleeping on the floor or the couch the child doesn't have decent clothes or shoes to wear some of you all you do is lavish that money on yourself okay and some women they take that money and put it to good use save some for the child's future but some of you you do it for the money if you're doing it for the money and you're not doing it because you want to be a good parent and have a good impact on that child's life so that the child's overall emotional and mental you know well-being is attended to then you just don't need to have any 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 child you're evil you're selfish you don't need to have any child to do that to them you think you're doing it to the man but you're doing it to the child so if it's about money then go become a stripper i don't know go become a groupie chase some of these filthy rich guys and, and be their doormat so they can take care of you no need for you to have a child with an average guy and then put him on child support he's suffering he can barely have money for himself to pay so that you take care of the child and then you go groom yourself and then keep the child away from the father that's evil that's really evil some of you helpers are just mean evil selfish and inconsiderate and i think the system really needs to crack down shoot